Hi everyone, um, so I wanted to showcase uh, just a sample of a three-part lesson um, that we're using in our grade 8 math classroom and how we can integrate um, just even a small bit of technology um, and then hopefully once we get some more technology we'll be able to integrate and do even bigger things. Um, so I just wanted to go through maybe what we did yesterday in class and how it engaged the students and how they enjoyed the learning um, while also being very productive and effective with their time. Um, so first of all, we, um, I'm using an app called Explain Everything. And I have it on my iPad and we have uh, some iPads in the school already with the Explain Everything app. We have used it before um, with the students using the app itself to explain their understanding as you can do it in many ways. And just like I'm doing now, you can record your thinking which really leads for great differentiating um, instruction. So it's a great tool to use in the classroom. I've been using it for a while, but I'm just going to quickly run through our lesson today and how we integrated using technology and using, um, using various different strategies. So our first part um, of our three-part lesson is um, stating pretty much what our learning goal is. So having the students know what this goal is for the day kind of gives them a little bit of structure. So our learning goal for today was proportional relationships. How can we use decimals to show these relationships? So we first did a quick minds on about where do we see decimals and what words do we associate with decimals. So most of all, most people, as soon as they hear decimals, they think money. So money was actually uh, the number one choice when we actually brainstormed. Um, and the second word that came to everyone's mind was a pretty obvious one. It was using a calculator. Every time you see decimals, you run straight to the calculator. Um, and that kind of got uh, set off a trigger in my head kind of about what, uh, what students actually know about using decimals and actually manipulating them and understanding them. So it gave me a good minds on and got the, got the students um, engaged. Um, so the next part of our question was the actual activity. Um, and just before I explain our, our question, as I am uh, going through this on my iPad, I'm using an, uh, another app called uh, Air Server. And my Air Server is kind of like an Apple TV where my iPad, I can be walking around the room with it and it projects onto the actual Promethean board at the front of the class so that students can see real time what I'm, what I'm talking about. If I'm making any modifications um, with my pen, it will show up real time on the board. Um, so our question was, Mr. Casey is baking a huge pie. After a long working week at school, he needs flour and one bag contains 3.68 kilograms. He needs three bags. If each bag costs $2.52, how much does the flour cost in total? Now that he has all of his flour, he needs to separate it into measuring cups of 0 0.35 kg. How many measuring cups of flour does he, does he have? So this is our first, uh, first day looking at um, our proportional reasoning in regards to in regards decimals. And uh, my goal as a teacher was to try and get them to think about, well, the different strategies you can use. Um, a textbook might say, right, this is multiplying and this is dividing decimals and this is our lesson. But, and you can might, maybe that would be obvious from reading this question. But I didn't specify that to the actual students. I wanted them to kind of come up with their own solutions of how they solve this, whether it be multiplication, division, or addition or subtraction. And as you can see when we go to our solutions, a lot of students came up with a lot of different strategies. So I want to leave the question a little bit open-ended um, for the students to showcase what they know. So as they were doing their work, um, we, used, we actually worked in pairs and we used our GRASP model, which is showing the given, the required, the analysis, analysis, the solution, and the paraphrase. And as they were completing this, they were using the mini whiteboards that we have in pairs um, to uh, cut down on our paper usage in class. And as they were working, I was, I was able to walk around the classroom and, as I mentioned, in real time, get some photos of them actually working uh, effectively in pairs. Um, I could zoom the photos out in, to the front and I could gain a good overview of um, how the student, students are collaborating and working together. Um, and of course, it engages them to see themselves working on the big screen in class. Okay, um, so after we finish our activity, um, um, we move on to our consolidation. So our consolidation is a third part of our three-part lesson plan. And what I really love uh, about the technology is that 
um, we can as they're as they're working, I can go around uh, with one iPad and and I can see the different styles of of learning and see how the strategies are being applied. Um, so I can actually take photos and group them into into the various different methods. So we can see that I've grouped them here in columns, one here, one here, and one here. So we can see the various different types of thinking in the classroom. Um, and the really good thing about the technology is that um, the students can come up to the class and, and explain their thinking. Um, so I'll actually give you an example. Um, if I take uh, if I take this this photo here. Oops. Let's get rid of those lines. If I take this photo here and I zoom it out to the front, and um, the student is actually actually able to annotate on top of the photo and explain, well, what was your thinking when you were uh, trying to find out how much this is going to cost. So what was your thinking here? And the student can explain um, and while well, using the technology um, to explain that. Um, when we actually get more technology, what would be the ultimate goal is instead of using the whiteboards, have them actually use this app and using the different features of the app to explain their strategies and then project them on the board using the air server. Um, here we have the second part of the question again. It's again looking at division and again we can compare and contrast the different strategies very clearly and very effectively on the on the board and pretty much seconds after the students do it. Um, so our consolidation gets the students and um, gets them asking questions, get them wondering well what strat why did you use that strategy or get the, getting their thinking across and showing them that you know what it is not to give up if they kind of think that our students are dividing decimals and they think, well, I, I can't remember how to divide decimals. Getting them thinking that there's always another solution, always another strategy um, in order to get the solution. Um, so a lot of them maybe use subtraction. A lot of them could have used multiple, um, used uh, reverse, so used addition. So keep, keep adding up until they get the number. And it was great to see students questioning um, the various strategies or asking, well, is it okay to do that, Mr. Casey? I thought we were supposed to divide. So it's really, it's really getting them to think, well, there's many ways to solve the one problem. Um, for actually division, um, I got one of the students to actually use the iPad. So I gave them the iPad, and they were able to show, well, if we have two, um, we want to divide two into six, it goes three times. What happens if we multiply both numbers by 100? Once we divide, do we have to multiply, or do we have to divide by 100 again? So she was, um, this, this student here gave some examples of, well, if we multiply 2 by 100 and the 6 by 100, it still goes three times. And she was able to display this on the Promethean board using the real-time Explain Everything app. And students gained a better understanding from using this. Another part of our consolidation, students were able to come up and explain, well, what is the, the actual, uh, one of their strategies for using this, doing this long division, and about where we put our decimals, and, and giving students a, a chance to, to really display and showcase their thinking. And again, this really, same with the And then, from a teacher's perspective, as I was going around taking many photos of their various strategies, this is a great tool for me. And um, because the students erased their whiteboards and it's and it's uh, it's gone for the day, but I can keep this and we can refer to this again and I can zoom out various oops, I can zoom out various strategies um, for what they actually did. Um, I can use it as a tool for assessment and it's really um, a good way to keep the three part lesson together using technology and keeping the students engaged. So hope you enjoy.